Let's get back to Spring Lake Park. It's home to Minnesota's original craft soda shop, which is opening, it's reopening as Grandpa Joe's Candy Shop later this week. We got a little rebrand there, and Lauren, I'm surprised you're not bouncing off the walls on a sugar high this morning. This is a bold way to start your day, Lauren Andrego. It, it really is, but I think with this weather, I'm feeling like spring. I need a little sugar in my step, and I think you could use some too. I told you guys about the nostalgic candy selection that they have here. One time I came to Blue Sun Soda Shop for an assignment. It was the only place that I could find a lot of nostalgic candy, and they have just upped the quantity. This is less than half of the old-fashioned candy that you can find here at Grandpa Joe's Candy Shop. Remember these caramel creams? These used to be my favorite things to get at parades. Um, and I told you guys earlier, uh, they are keeping the tradition of Blue Sun Soda Shop alive with the soda selection. So I want to talk to Chris again back here for just a little bit of the soda selection that they have. This is kind of overwhelming, Chris. It is, right? This is just one 24-foot section, but we actually have over 150 feet of shelving dedicated just to glass bottled soda alone. And there's there are normal flavors, but also some odd flavors. Definitely some crazy flavors. Um, we invented a banana flavored soda. It tastes just like the candy bananas. We also have toothpaste soda. It is early, so save the brushing your teeth and just drink just a toothpaste drink flavored it. soda. You've got some Minnesota brands too. I gotta mention Dr. Chuck L's soda. You can find it here. I know you guys have been looking over everywhere for this stuff. Find it at Grandpa Joe's Candy Shop. And you have some Minnesota brands here, too. Yes, we do. Um, uh, 1919 Root Beer, root beer. is available and in a pony keg. In a, yep, and on tap, yeah, in a frosted mug. Tell me a little bit about the stuff that you're working on here because you're going to be serving 16 different kinds of ice cream. You're going to have root beer on tap. This is going to be an experience for families. A hundred percent, this is an experience. So two days away. Thursday at 4.05 p.m. Spring Lake Park. Um, I, I think everybody's just going to be amazed at how much inventory we have, how much we've expanded the building to just be overwhelming uh, senses. It's going gonna, it's gonna to blow your mind. This is Grandpa Joe's Candy Shop, named after Willy Wonka's Grandpa Joe. You were a guy with a Willy Wonka obsession, correct? I, I, I may have watched that movie a few thousand times, <laughs> yes. Well, let's eat a little bit of candy, yes. right? You guys, I asked Chris, could I try something? And he goes, oh, do you want breakfast? And I was like, oh, are you guys serving breakfast here? I, I didn't know that. Oh, oh my so goodness. this is what I got. This is this is the gummy breakfast that wow. he offered me. Oh, that um, looks great. Gummy waffle, bacon, and eggs. Oh, that's pretty And a funny. gummy donut. As he said, it looks like the donuts that you can see on The Simpsons. That's um, a giant gummy? And I'm going to take gummy? a bite of it. That's a giant gummy. <sighs> That's yes, the biggest is. gummy I've ever um, seen. I'm going to take a bite of this, let you know how I feel. They dropped off some treats for you guys to try, too. Are you eating any oh, of that? We have a plethora. Yeah, not yet, but we have stuff, and we're, um, we've got Grandpa Joe's Pickle Pop. We've got ketchup soda. Wow, those these are, are hippo hippos. These are hippopotamus. We were trying to figure out what those were. Um, I like the little Kinder candies. I think those are tasty devils. That is quite good. Yeah, the Kinder is good. This, I thought you... Oh, go ahead, Lauren. I, I was just going to say, Elizabeth, I know you're not a sugar girly, but I saw the Kinder treats and I said, maybe Elizabeth will like those. Yeah, that's happy that I didn't is my know, thing. The happy hippos. Those are the best. Yeah, those are very cute. I, I didn't like the know Kinder about the too. dill pickle stuff. What's this Reggie thing, Lauren? It's a Reggie bar. What's a Reggie bar? The great baseball player. Oh, yeah. it's, it's Reggie Jackson mm -hmm. who's on the Reggie bar, right? Oh, what is that? That's, that's correct. Good. Reggie Jackson from the New York Yankees back <laughs> in 1960, I think, to compete with the Babe Ruth bar. Competing with the Babe Ruth bar. Oh, I got. Oh my gosh, this is better than a Baby Ruth. What this actually is better than a Baby Ruth. They say it's better than the Baby Ruth. What are these balls? Of course. Uh, Takoya balls or just what, came back about what are these things? Takoyaki balls. Do you want to know about those balls, the the Japanese snacks that you had dropped off? The, the takoyaki, takoyaki balls. balls. Yeah, yeah what are those? We call them octopus balls. Oh, well, that octopus explains the balls. flavor. I mean, you got to try them. <laughs> That's very All funny. right, guys, a little bit of everything. Good you got to come here starting Thursday in Spring Lake Park. I can't Fun. believe that the Baby Ruth overtook the Reggie Bar uh, when the, the Re Reggie Bar is far the Reggie superior. Bar was a, was a thing. All Have right, you Lauren, tried it? Uh, you can visit Grandpa Joe's Candy <laughs> Shop and the soon-to-be world-famous $5 candy buffet starting Thursday. We'll put details on Minnesota Live.